Most businesses today have some kind of computerized and automated systems to help them manage their businesses. So a small uh, retailer would have one system, an invoicing system to bill customers for goods what they buy. They would have another system to pay their taxes and uh, they would have a third system probably to manage their salaries and payroll. So the problem these days is not that businesses do not have computerized systems, but rather we have too many systems that do not communicate with each other or as we say are not able to share data or talk to each other. Take the case of a hospital. So a hospital has clinical systems which consist of the interactions between doctors and medical staff and the patients where um, they monitor their condition, note what um, their, you know, the medicines are uh, and all other information like that. Um, there is another information which is the accounting information which takes data, some data from this clinical system and the kind of operations or surgeries or performed on uh, patients and bills the patients for them and adds the insurance codes. There is a pharmacy system where uh, which also keeps track of the medicines administered to the patient and this pharmacy system also in has to interact with both clinical as well as accounting systems. And lastly there is a purchasing system which has to buy all the medicines that are used up by the hospitals. Now all these systems are sometimes preserved in individual silos and uh, the silos absolutely do not communicate with each other. So such kind of setup uh, where we have multiple systems who do not communicate or talk to each other are called by this name of legacy systems. Now the legacy systems have three key problems. One, because these legacy systems are housed in different departments, Political processes make it very difficult to access this system. So there are long drawn processes for me in one department to have immediate or real time access to the same information or relevant information in another department. Two, even without politics, because the information structure is different, because the information is maintained in different kind of databases, Immediate access of that information in making use of it for decision making is difficult. Consider a salesperson sitting in a head office getting all these sales report in different Excel sheets from different regions and different countries. Now all these Excel sheets have very different formats and very different definitions. So for me in a head office, the salesperson in a head office to collect all these Excel sheets and make some sense out of them is very difficult. And lastly, when the same information is maintained across multiple databases, there are always some redundancies, inconsistencies and errors. So the information becomes very difficult to use for decision making. And that is why these days we are trying to move away from legacy systems to some kind of centralized systems.